So let's look at, at how the footprint looks like for each browser that we actually have. So we're going to go to this page and then we're going to have a look at Opera, Internet Explorer, Chrome and Firefox. Okay, so if we go to this page here, we should be able to see what our IP address is, what our host name is, and then I look up to see the longitude and the latitude of the actual IP address. And then here we see the user agent. So the browser re replies back with its type and its build and so on. So we can see here we have Mozilla. You know, there's a certain build and then we see Firefox 21.0. If we look at uh, our Chrome, then we see here there's Chrome. Again it's a Mozilla, Mozilla browser. And then we see a Safari part here. So that's for Chrome. There's Firefox. And now for Internet Explorer. We see here that we can see Internet Explorer, Microsoft Internet Explorer 10. Again, it's built on Mozilla 5.0. And let's see if we can find our Opera one. I can see here for Opera, Opera 9.8 and there's the, the version here. Okay, so when, when we request from the browser, uh, the browser will actually say what types it will accept uh, coming back. We can see there's there's the host, the URL. So these are the, the parameters that are set for the request see there's the user agent and then again HTTP version most HTTP is based on 1.1 for the uh, the the basic syntax of the command and and, and uh, response okay so there's the host IP address and then then here we get the details of the of the browser okay so it defines the type that we have there's opera 9 and then in Firefox we see Firefox 21 and then with inside Internet Explorer we can see IE 10 and so on. So it's here we can pick up the version of the, the browser that we actually have and whether it supports certain plugins such as Java, cookies and so on. Then we can actually read the, the cookies that are related to this session, then on to encoding. Then if we want we can do a basic lookup to who is on the domain. So let's have a look at the code that is used to encode that. So in this case the page just posts a get. So every time that we load it, it will just do a get. So there's no need for a post here. Okay, so that's really just doing a get. Get will come in here, and then uh, our request is actually posted, and the method that's used for this is basically this piece of code here, which will determine the IP address, and this is the server variable that we're looking for for the IP address. And this is the IP address of the the host. Okay. So the next thing that we do is that uh, we we make a browser request, and within inside uh, this class, we return back the browser details. So we can see here that returns back a whole lot of details that we can use. To, such as cookies, the type of the browser, and and so on. Okay, and we can see that is shown here. Okay, so we can see browser capabilities, browser type is there, the browser itself, 
browser.version gives us this here major version, minor version, the platform is a beta crawler and so on okay so all these things will give us our, our browser strings there then we can request the cookies using this this class here and we request that and then we can just print them out so that uh, relates to this this part here and then we can determine the code page here it is here the encoding name and so on and then at the end we can do a basic quiz on the on the details after that we can request the server variables and these are the server variables here okay so we have all HTTP we then have HTTP agent which is this one here so that will re return back for there and then all the variables that the server gathers can be actually printed as part of this part here Okay, and then that then goes and completes the the web page. Okay, so if you want to have a look at what the web page looks like, so remember we have uh, in this case we have view bags. So view bag server will be something that appears on the page. Hopefully, it's somewhere around here. So in the user agent, we should see view bag server two for this one here. So this is in our our controllers. Our controllers contain the code that uh, is run whenever we do a, a get or a post. So let's have a look at views. And then is here is IP. And here is details. Okay, so this is what the MVC ASP.NET page looks like. Okay, so there's there's our view bag in there. So there's our view bag server two, showing the uh, so when when the page is called, when when we do a return from the page, such so as from here, when we do our return, this shows the page, and then the page is rendered. So this HTML dot raw will actually show the string that relates to viewbag dot server two. This shows server three, and so on. Okay, so we can see here. This is how we display the values to the to the page.